The second way the FDA standards have already been met is through the FDA's own reports. On July 29th, FDA Commissioner Dr. David Kessler appeared at the House Health and Environment Subcommittee hearing with a book of reports the FDA had compiled and printed in July of this year. It was titled, Unsubstantiated Claims and Documented Health Hazards in the Dietary Supplement Marketplace. But upon examination, there was found to be no actual documentation for the health hazards mentioned in the book. For example, on page 101, one typical example of what the FDA calls documentation reads as follows. Serious adverse effects, including renal failure, seizures, and death, have been reported to the FDA with products containing Yohimbi and are currently under investigation. Well, while the concern over adverse effects and death is indeed serious, there's no question that the statement is not documentation. Documentation means names, places, dates, circumstances. Nowhere in this publication does the FDA do this. Further, of the 540 unsubstantiated claims it lists, it got 176 out of one company's catalog, and over 380 of those claims came from just five companies. So, we are concerned why the FDA is publishing a booklet that apparently is biased to make it look like an entire industry of thousands of manufacturers and marketers is making unsubstantiated claims when it's clear that two-thirds of the claims listed came from just five companies. Five. Now you may ask, why are we concerned that the FDA statements are not documented in this very serious matter? Here's one reason.